Hello, fellow 3D enthusiast. My name is Ian, and this is going to be a tutorial on weight paint mode. So, tab and weight paint. First of all, what the heck is weight paint? It's a good question to start with. So weight painting is when you assign a particular number to a vertice. So this cube has however many vertices, eight. And once you hop into weight paint mode, you can sort of paint a value onto them. When you're in weight paint mode, vertices with higher weight have a red value, and vertices with lower weight have a blue value. And if you enable your tool settings up here on the toolbar, you can assign the weight that you're using, which is pretty much like the strength. So if you have it a little bit lower, you can draw a lower strength. So let's take a look at how you might use it a little bit more effectively. First of all, you'd probably want a few more vertices than just eight. So I'm going to start over again by deleting that vertex group. I'll show you a bit more about that in a second here. But hopping back into weight paint, you can see it's a lot more of a, a drawing procedure going on here. And if I assign a heavier weight, you can see it turns red, which means I'm assigning more weight to these vertices. So a few tools over here that you might want to know about. Gradient is pretty handy. You can drag from one point and it sort of evens it out across the whole object. You can do that again like this. And when you're in the draw mode, you can subtract, which is pretty handy if you want to, yeah, subtract. There's also radius up here, so you can have more of an effect on a bigger area. Another feature that's good to know about is you can go into weights and invert, so that way everything is flipped on its head, just in case you need it that way. So when you have a cube with the right vertices with the right weight, that is called a vertex group. And as you can see over here in the, let's see, object data tab, you can see that it displays all the vertex groups. You can have different groups, so you can see if I select this one, I've got a different group going on, and you can use different groups for different things if you want to. So you can just plus or minus or move them around with these, and you can double click and rename them. So yeah, that's a pretty good way to manage that sort of thing. So now the big question is, why would you even need to use vertex groups? There's a whole lot of applications for it. Sometimes you can use it in rigging, to add weight to mesh that you're using bones to deform, or you could use it for displacement. Or you could use it if you wanted smoke in a specific area. And if you use displacement and smoke, and you use vertex groups to put them together, then you can get some really cool results, which I will show you in another video, and that'll come out just after this video. But yeah, that's the basics of weight paint mode, and I'll see you in another tutorial tomorrow about texture paint. Hope this was helpful. Cheers!